Hello friends, it's Shadow Ready here, playing some more World of Warships, and today we're going to be discussing if the Prince Frederick was worth it. Um, there, it's very divided down the community, pretty much, if it was worth this much grind, um, or if the ship is overall just worth it. Um, I'll kind of give you my opinions on it, and um, let's get into it. So first off, it's a kind of like a holiday Christmas ship that you can get. Um, kind of like how the Gra Graf Spree was a few years back, which I really do enjoy this ship. Um, this ship was very unique at that time because we didn't have any heavy cruisers or anything like that. Um, so it was a very fun and unique ship um, for us to get. Now, the Prince Frederick over here, though, is pretty much a Baron. Pretty much. Just a slight, slight, slight differences on like the survivability and concealment and the overall look of the ship um but it's pretty much got the same guns but they are worse accuracy um at long ranges at their like 17 kilometer ranges um you're all, like the dispersion just goes everywhere at that range um but once you get within like 11 kilometers or so or less they start acting proper and start um working properly for you um it just you can't hit anything at far ranges. That's kind of the no bueno part of this ship. The other thing, too, is if you're a free-to-play person, all these missions right here, these first three missions, were super easy to get. Super, super easy to get. Just took a little bit of time. Um, you know, just super easy achievements. And then all of a sudden, this last one. Whew, this last one was a tough one for anybody that just has a standard account and doesn't have that many... Um, premium ships like for instance i only have like four premium ships if that um i have like the gashbury the uh sims and a few others but like some of these nations i don't even have like gotten off a of tier one because i just haven't had the time to do that now yes if you have a premium account, if you have a Missouri, if you have some of those amazing ships that give you tons and tons of credits, it's going to be easy for you. But for us free-to-play players, it took forever. Um, I kind of did the math on it. If you're in about a tier 6 or 7 match, you roughly get about uh, 20,000 credits. Let's just... 20, 000 credits, sorry. Let me just... Or let me rephrase that, sorry. 200,000 credits, right? And you're trying to get 24 million credits to get one ship. <laughs> um, I did the math on that, and I'll put like my little Reddit post probably right here. But that would roughly take you about 30 hours of game time, just you know, just on average. You know, I'm just doing averages, trying to round up, make everything easy and simple. But that's crazy for a free-to-play person. Um, I get it. You gotta want it, but. Once you get the ship, I don't know if you really want it. You get steel with it too. Yay. But uh, let's go take her out into a game for you guys. All right. We finally have made it into a game right now. Um, once again, as usual, whenever I ever record, I'm always middle tier or bottom tier. So that's the usual. But for the most part, every single game, you're going to at least see three or four for a while because everybody's still trying to get um, any missions or anything like that. But once I feel like the overall, like, missions go away i think this ship is probably going to go away pretty fast and you won't see it that much um but i have no complaints oh i forgot to put my uh faster uh damage control oh well damage control two but oh well that doesn't matter I just want to at least show you guys kind of like the guns um, on this. Hopefully I can show you like long range accuracy versus short range. Short range is a lot better. I've also kind of spec this ship out to be more um, more secondary base, which it I, the reason why I did that is because it just helps me know whenever my main turret guns are should be very accurate at least. So that's kind of the reason why I've done this. Also, I'm kind of concerned that nobody's going north with me, so we'll see how this goes. Now, leave a comment down below on what you guys think of this ship, uh, of the Prince Frederick. Um, a lot of people have mixed opinions on it. I totally get it. Um, I feel like if they would have re like reduced the mission criteria on it, like not making it 4 million credits per nation, um, make it more like 3 million, um, I think it would be a little bit more reasonable. So let's watch these shots because you can already kind of see they go all over. 
I mean, yes, he did turn, but I don't know if I would have been able to hit him. And I can already tell I need to turn around, so I'm going to do that. Oh, Omaha's. I feel so bad for you. I do not miss that ship whatsoever. The Citadel ship. Um, did I get any hits? Oh, I got three hits. I'm kind of impressed. I think that was at kind of my max range, which I am pretty impressed on, but usually the ships just cannot hit anything very well at its maximum range. So we're going to keep turning around because I don't want to deal with all these lovely ships and that. The one good thing about this ship, I will have to say, is its secondaries and its uh, AA defense is pretty decent for a tier 6 uh, battleship. Um, yes, I know there's still better other ones out there, but if you're going against an equal tier carrier or a lower tier carrier, um, you will be able to handle and hold your own, which is the nice thing about it. I'm still waiting for people to come around that corner. But they're not. Also, if you guys have been enjoying this so far, please leave co comments uh, down below and uh, tell me what you think. And also, if you like, you can subscribe and like the video. But let's see if I can get some more action. Maybe people will actually finally come around this corner. I don't think so. We have no caps. Our team's kind of playing very far back. I need to probably... Like, that's the thing. Um, it also kind of depends on how your team's playing, too, on this ship. Because um, you either need to be the more support battleship or the more aggressive battleship. Um, you can take hits. That's the good news. But the only problem is... You're just hoping that your teammates are also firing at whatever shooting you, too. Because you'll be a sitting duck, maybe. Well, you can survive, so... I'm going to push more towards Ch Charlie. Try to see if I can get anything going. I do not, like, also, while playing 30 hours, roughly, of trying to unlock this ship, because I have a free account, I do know that I missed out on some opportunities for, like, that free premium account time. Um, my problem was I used it weeks before, um, before the credits things became a thing, or before the credits missions uh, were available. So, I got just unlucky on that timing. But, ooh, this is going to be good. See? Under 10, or under 11, your shots are going to be pretty much pretty accurate. Now, I wish those went a little bit lower, but I can't complain. I got damage. Very low damage, but I got damage. See? Very good at shooting down airplanes, I think. Oh, I thought I got another one. Sorry. There, there we go. Took out that whole entire fleet. Or fighter squadron, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, Dunkirk. There we go. Some good damage. I should have probably focused on that Omaha. Oh, how I wish this ship could be a little bit faster, but I totally understand. It's a battleship. It's going to take its time. Well, that's the good news, is you can bounce shots really well in this ship. Um, if you angle properly, of course. Maybe I might get my back turrets around. I don't think I will. Uh, that'd be nice. Over penetrations, which I'm kind of surprised on. 
All right, I'm pushing forward. I'm just saying, oh well. We we don't have a single kill yet, so oh well at this point. And a new combatant has come into the fray, and I'm probably overextended. Yes, I have. Go AA guns. Your magic. Trying to take the damage. Trying to be elusive. Oh, hello, Nuremberg. Please, please, let me have this. Let me have this. There we go. Ah, uh, over penetrations. Start focusing fire on those uh, torpedo fighters. Torpedo to start. He's not moving. He should be dead. Should. Over penetrations. I don't know why. But man, these AA guns. Really nice. Not so nice. Not so nice. But I lived. Okay. Omaha's dead. I'm gonna use this because I'm going to die. Secondaries, do your magic. Please get a citadel. I usually do get citadels, but I just don't know why I'm just not hitting anything this round. Use my heal. Okay, he's dead. Hopefully he didn't get his torpedoes off. I'm about to die, but... Yep, there it is. Come on, make it. Nope, I'm dead. But as you can tell, the ship can take a lot of beating. Um, I wish I just didn't hit over-penetrated them. Um, that's the only kind of the downside sometimes I feel like is I over-penetrate because I just don't aim at the right spots. But that's more on me, uh, not on the ship. Uh, but overall, I still can see why people are just going to scrap it and just sell it for their steel and try to get a better ship. But I don't mind it. Whoops, did not mean to do that. I don't mind it, I just wish the grind for this ship was a little less because it's not that very unique of a ship compared to what the Gaff Spree was last time for the last like holiday mission, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed, um, and I'm going to stick around so that you guys can see the post-battle results, just see how much credits this thing can get on a regular standard account. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Thanks, bye-bye.